you date somebody, you break up, that's where songs come from. Just ask Taylor Swift. Uh, appreciate it. So, uh, how long have you been singing? Since I could talk, probably. Okay, since you've been talking. So how long have I been singing? Well, I'm still working on it. Okay. So, let's give it up for Chris Morris. Yeah. Bryce Timmons. Where are you from, Bryce? Originally from southeast Georgia, just a real small town down there. Uh, but I moved to Nashville about two years ago. Married my wife. We live in Murfreesboro. And how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, however long ago, uh, 2011 was, something like that. 12 years? Almost said 13. And what was your first song about? That's a great question. I don't know. I probably forgot it. Probably wasn't good. You know, who knows? <laughs> How many songs do you think you've written since you started writing songs? Uh, well, there's a list that I like and a list that I've just written and thrown away. But T a total, total, probably a, a few hundred. Uh, do you yeah. write? Do you write every day? Do you co-write? I try to work on songs every day. I don't finish a song every day, but yeah, I co-write. I try to find people to collaborate with. Um, yeah. So you pick up the guitar and you strum it every day? I strum it, and I try to find something that catches my ear and feels good, and then I, whatever comes out, I just work with it. Do you have any music on Spotify, YouTube? Hoping to, uh, if I can win this thing, I'll use the money to, to put an album out or something. But uh, nice. I've, got some, I've got stuff on YouTube, Instagram, um, and yeah, I, I, yeah. Okay, cool. Stephen Blackwell. Yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm uh, from East Texas originally, uh, but I live in Smyrna now. So. Is that your star in your hat? Uh, yeah, well, that's my, that's my Dallas Cowboys. Right yeah. so. Anybody from Texas out there? <laughs> All right. I don't think you go anywhere without having somebody from Texas. Yeah, we, we moved Justin out. Love's from Texas. All right. All right. And uh, how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, probably about uh, 20 years, I guess. Yeah, probably around, around yeah. Most of them love songs, breakup songs, party songs. Yep. Um, all three. All three. A lot of breakup songs. In the beginning, I was in a punk band uh, when I first started writing. And so I wrote a lot of uh, heartbreak songs that were really fast. And so. Yeah. So if you could open up for anybody, who would that be? Um, right now, I've been listening to a lot of Ben Rector. And, yeah, and nice. I, like, I like Ben Rector a lot. Um, but of course, Chris Stapleton would also be bucket list kind of. Well, let's see if we can make that bucket list happen. I would love that. Rolling Justice. <laughs> yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm originally from Cincinnati. Uh, I'm a Yankee at birth, but uh, Southern by the grace of God. I live in Murfreesboro these days. Do you uh, write country music, or do you write blues, or what do you write? I would probably consider it Americana, a little rock and roll, a little soulful, a uh, little bit of country. How long have you been playing guitar? About 40 years. You're not even 40 years old. <laughs> I'm vintage, buddy. <laughs> and your favorite instrument to hear is guitar, harmonica, violin? Well, who doesn't love a good violin? But uh, I do love guitar. Is that the only instrument you play? Uh, I, I noodle around with other instruments. I, I actually work at a guitar uh, factory. So, uh, yeah, which, which, guitar, which guitar factory? Gibson. Huh. Is that a Gibson? I can't tell. It is a Gibson. Mm -hmm. I, really, I couldn't afford this guitar, but I get a big play discount. I still couldn't afford it. All right, let's give it up for Roland Justice. <laughs> Kelly Garner. Hey. hey there. Where are you from? Oh. I, I'm Brad Fitzmark. I am originally... Okay, I'm originally from Piedmont, Alabama. Hey, I'm originally from Piedmont, Alabama. I've been in Nashville uh, 33 years. I went to Belmont, taught there for 10 years actually, and and uh, was in the industry, produced and write, co-write, and was a songwriter for a company in Nashville for a good while. And now I have my own publishing company and, and studio and all that. And anybody know the Legacy Five group, the gospel group? I wrote their song, I Stand Redeemed. And it, uh, it it was the number one song for about three months. So, uh, and so we have written, a number one song right yeah, on the stage. Well, I've written quite a few. So, uh, but anyways, yeah. I, it, I've been doing it a long time. But well, when did you start? When did you start singing songs? 
How old were you? Oh, I was three, three years old. Three? Yeah. Like a couple of years ago? That was 53 years ago. No, no, don't, 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 don't say that. Yeah, so I mean, I know that, <laughs> yeah, right, I know before, but thank you anyways, thank okay. you for that. But anyways, I'm, I'm thankful to be here, it's a blessing to be here and get to share some music with you and what a cute little festival this is, I, I love it, it's your yeah. heaven. This is, uh, well, actually Colin, let's give it up for Colin one more time, he's the sponsor of this, he's the one who started it. We're, Okay, so, I, he, I think he thank you. tell me to use a white mic, right? It doesn't matter? Okay. Yeah, I think y'all want a little bit of an up-tempo. Wouldn't that kind of be fun? You want me to do that at the hospital sing? I'll tell you. Uh, okay, I hear a song. Okay, I hear a clapping going on. I'm going to do a song for you uh, that I, I grew up in Piedmont, Alabama, and Sand Mountain Fife, like we're Vestal, and Vestal did one of my songs way back when called Stand and Testify with the Martins group. And, uh, and so I'm from that area, Sand Mountain in Northeast Alabama, where they have gospel sings. And uh, so I, this song is literally about my granddaddy that went around teaching singing schools on uh, Sand Mountain. And so when I started to do the album last year, um, I just said, you know what, I've got to write a song about those good old gospel sings that, that have so... Y'all gonna have to help me with it now, okay? Let's go. Father 
Well, how do I follow that? Uh, as I'd mentioned in my earlier song, I've uh, been with my wife. I met her when she was 12. I was, I was 13. We were in homeroom together. Uh, and I guess, I, and I mentioned that uh, all the time we've been together, it's hard to get all that information into the three minutes. So I got a couple songs, and I'm going to, she's sitting right there, so I'm going to play another one for her. Uh, she's from a town called Okeana in southeastern, uh, sorry, southwestern Ohio. And uh, I made the mistake of talking about, uh, of mentioning that it's so small it's only got one stoplight. Uh, she always corrects me, there are no stoplights. Top of the morning, by the end of the day. She's got a soft spoken voice, the song of a bird. She's an angel of mercy, my Okeana girl. She's a tiger lily, needs the warmth of the sun. Got all the friends she needs, me on. Like a jewel, her winding on the sea. Days and all the joyous nights along the bank of the willows, mysteries unfurled. Nashville will have to wait for my okay little girl. Past the fields of heather, down to London Road, the Venice Presbyterian to the autumn glow. Thank you, friends. All right, my name is Stephen Blackwell, and uh, I sang this one earlier. And uh, I just—it's just all about not uh, not missing out on those good times with your family. Uh, uh, my mother-in-law always says, uh, and she's probably not the only person to say it, but I always hear her say that uh, the the days drag on, but the years fly by, and. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what this song is really about. It's about not missing the moon, not missing the little times, and the good times with, with my family. So, here we go. Alarm clock chaos starts a day Sipping coffee and everyone's running different ways Shoes on the floor. I love you, babe, as you're out the door. And as the day slowed down, and we have time to breathe. I'll meet you on the front porch 
plane Cause I don't want to miss the moon I don't want this to end too soon I don't want to look back at this life And see it gone And I don't want to fall too far From wherever you are I want to save this night with you Cause I don't want to miss the moon Well, life goes by and before you know They're all to work and have kids of their own I pray every night that I hold them They never have to worry about what might have been And I'll show them love and how to be a light In this dark and lonely world I'll always make the time Moon. I don't want this here too soon I don't want to look back at this life and see it go And I don't want to fall too far from wherever you are I want to save this night with you Cause I don't want to miss the moon I don't want to miss the moon fall through life that make us thankful for the little things like your kids crowding up your bed or sitting on the front porch swing cause I don't want to miss the moon I don't want this to end too soon I don't want to look back at this life and see it gone and I don't want to fall too far from wherever you are I want to save this night with you Cause I don't want to miss the moon I don't want this here too soon I don't want to look back at this life And see him gone And I don't want to fall too far From wherever you are I want to save this night with you Cause I don't want to miss the moon Bryce Timmons. Um, I'll play a song for you. It's about my hometown. It's about love and all that stuff. And, uh, it's called Home is Where the Heart Is. So if you like it.
ever loved someone like this? Brought you here to see my heart is. This home's where the heart is. Another big hand for Bell Buckle and uh, the folks that put this event together. After, uh, yeah, go ahead, guys. After uh, about 15 years of hanging around town, about 17, it's weird to be up here on the stage not sitting on a hay bell and, and watching everything. But this is so such talent around this town and uh, painters and songwriters, and it's just amazing. A little hot on the guitar. All right, so if I, I told Sweetie if I made it this far, I, the song I, I finished uh, for our wedding, our special little song here. It's a song I started with Tim Johnson uh, back in the day, wrote I Let Her Live for, uh, uh, back when he was on Giant Records. And um, so he passed away, and uh, we, didn't, we never finished the song. I guess the song probably laid around for about 30 years. And uh, I was a young man way back then, and... Uh, I thought it was a great time. I found a beautiful woman that agreed to marry me. Still don't know why, but I appreciate it. Thank you. So we've been climbing two separate ladders And trying so hard to succeed But girl, is that what really matters? Is that what life really means? What good is the way we've been living? We're going about it all wrong. Let's look at the hearts we've been given. And the answer's been there all along. It's about us making plans for forever. All about being in love. It's about sharing the good times, surviving the bad, doing it all hand in hand. And girl, don't you think it's about time you and I start thinking about us. I will go by house in the country. And make it our own little home If we'll choose that one road together We'll never walk it alone I've got something here in my pocket I want to put on your hand Well, some say it's just a symbol But believe me, I understand it's about us making plans for forever All about being in love It's about sharing the good times, surviving the bad Doing it all hand in hand So girl, don't you think It's about time you and I Start thinking about us Sharing the good times, surviving the bad, doing it all hand in hand. Now, girl, don't you think it's about time you and I start thinking about Suspense. <laughs> All right, Chris Morris, Kelly Garner, Bryce Timmons, Stephen Blackwell, and Roland Justice. Thank you so much. Hang out, hang out. I think you're going to. Uh,
figure out who's who won the judges. So if you want to go pay someone off now, you you still have time. Oh, that's great. There's still some rock. There's still some uh, tickets available to buy for the uh, for the raffle. And the t-shirts are still available, so please go down the booth and please go play with those guitars. Touch those guitars and uh, come back up here next year and sing a song at the... Uh... And we got some horseback riders in the back. Maybe uh, real cowboys. Yeah, that's, see me, it's going to be $5 a ride if you want to take a ride on one of them horses. That just see me, it's $5. $5 a ride. <laughs> see Chris right here. So hang out for a minute. They're going to tally up the winner, and we're going to announce it. And uh, the winner's going to get uh, a cash prize plus Brian Stanley. Where's Brian Stanley? Brian Stanley's right here. He owns the Axe Bench, and he's going to give a free guitar set up for the winner. And also, if you have any, if you have a musical instrument, go see Brian Stanley at, at the Axe Bench, and he'll set up your guitar. In fact, if you buy that guitar back there, one of those guitars. Or if you win with a raffle, go see Brian. He'll set it up so you sound really good. And I think a tune guitar is very important. So uh, we'll have, a, have the winners in a minute. And then after this, Radio Subro has six artists coming up. Please hang out for them and listen to them. They uh, all have songs on Radio Subro. And you can download the app on your phone or listen to your, or on your computer at radiosubro.com. We play just about every independent artist in Nashville. So... Uh, Please, uh, here, I'm, while we're doing while we're waiting, pull out your phone, go to your app store, go to Radio Sobro, download it, and maybe you'll be able to hear these people on Radio so Sobro someday. Who has not had a moon pie before? Okay, I got a question. How many moon pies are made every day? Anybody have any idea? 5,000 moon pies a day? A day. We're talking about a day. 1.5 million moon pies are made every day in Chattanooga, Tennessee. That means 1.5 million people are eating a moon pie every single day. And I don't know how many, 300 million people in the country, so one out of every 100 people are eating a moon pie? I don't know, I'm not good at math. But moon pies are good, and they love this town. So we got a winner? All right, Colin's going to announce the winner. He is the, uh, the organizer of the show, and he's going to announce the winner. All right, first place is Roland Justice. He is step right Roland Justice. This is small for my big head. No, you, make, you can make it big. Let's do that. All right, give him a round of applause again. Thank you, Roland. Yeah. All right, second place is... Oh, All right. Ralston's wanting to get a selfie here. Oh. That skill. He didn't turn the camera around. Wow. Okay. He's taking a lot of selfies. Okay. Um, second place is Kelly. Oh. Right, come on up. Yeah. And third place is Steven. Congratulations. You want to get together and yeah, yeah, grab a picture? Yeah. Okay, let, let me get one first. All right, look here. I'll get a picture of you guys. One, two, three. You jump in there with them. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one more. One, two, three. Smile. All right. Congratulations, everybody. All right. Hold on.